This video was sponsored by Timu. Timu is an affordable online marketplace where you can find everything from home decor, shoes, clothing, jewelry, electronics, and more. Timu is available both on their website and their app, which is available on iOS and Android. Timu constantly has sales going on, but for new users right now, you can use my exclusive code OFF3376 for an additional 30% off your entire order. Timu also offers free shipping and free returns for up to 90 days for US and Canadian residents. So if you'd like to check out everything that I feature in today's video, there will be links to all of the items as well as their prices in the description, as well as a link to Timu themselves if you'd like to check them out. So thank you to Timu for sponsoring today's video, and now back to the video. Hello everybody, it's me Laura again, and today I'd like to warmly welcome you to a soft-spoken trigger assortment. So in this video today, I will be making some sounds with the items that Timu sent me. So feel free to sit back and relax as I make some sounds with the items and softly speak along the way. Okay? So, Timu sent me two of these. These are bendable, flexible, educational toys. You can shift them and move them. And the reason why I picked these was more actually for the sounds and the colours associated with them. There are a lot of people who like to follow tests when it comes to colours, and that's really why I got them. The majority of the items I picked out from Timu, I really wanted to be prop focused for future videos. It feels really nice to be making a brand new haul with sounds incorporated into it. These are some of my absolute favourite videos to watch. So this is one inside the box. Now the one outside of the box is this. So this is the toy. It's not magnetic, you can't pull this apart, but you can shift and arrange it, I guess for colour coordination. But I really liked this, this is a really pretty assortment of colours. So let me know how you think it might be best to incorporate this into a future video. I'm not sure how I would incorporate this into a roleplay, but I could do definitely a follow my instructions video with this, like what's this colour, what's this colour, what's this colour. I like that scratchy sound on this one, when you sort of glide nails down. I've just cut my nails and I always forget how much life is easier when you cut them. So they're definitely more manageable. So this is the first item. They sent me one in a black box and one in a white box. Both exactly the same, minus the packaging. So this one I got 
more so out of curiosity than anything. Um, it might be a little difficult to see this against the black background. If I put it here, you might see it a little better. So, for those of you who don't know what this is, this is a heatless hair curler that I think comes with a black scrunchie. This comes in multiple colours. I picked black. And what you are supposed to do is dampen your hair and then wrap your hair in this really long tube and then leave it in your hair for a few hours and you're supposed to have heatless waves or curls out of it. I much prefer my hair when it's a little bit more not poker straight, definitely more on the wavy side. Um, but I'm not skilled in the way of curling my hair. And when I blow dry it, it always goes straight. So I look forward to giving this a go. I hope that I have enough thickness of hair for this to work because it is quite long. So we shall definitely see. So this was a curiosity purchase. I love that crinkling, rustling sound at the top there. This also came with a black plastic clip for your hair. So I'm going to give this a go and report back in a future video how I've had with this. So the next item is a set of two. This is exclusively for future videos. Uh, these are two wooden balls. If you'll focus for me. The purpose I got these for is this sound. Purely as a prop for videos. I really want to incorporate lots of wooden triggers for a dedicated wooden trigger video. Wooden triggers have been requested in the ASMR community for as long as I can remember, and probably beyond then too. They are a favourite of many, many people, so I, up until last year, didn't really have a lot of wooden triggers, so the goal is to make a wooden trigger video now. I have a wooden keyboard and mouse. I have these. I have one of those instrument frogs. Um, wooden brushes. All sorts of items that can now be incorporated into a wooden trigger video. But I love the sound, this pitter-patter clacking sound. See what they sound like individually. So these were sold in twos. It's a nice sound, but that true wooden sound comes from tapping them together. Let me know what you think of this one. Let me know what you think of all of them. It's experimenting with different sounds. So, next I picked out this little makeup bag. I will say I was disappointed with the fact that the back is white. I was expecting it to either be black or for this pattern to sort of go around. So. Full transparency there. But this can store a few items in it.
otherwise I like the style choices on the front it feels like they're missing quite a lot of pigment for the black here because the website shows it to be um, a much deeper black this feels um, not as deep basically I want to make some really nice scratchy sounds with this one. So that is the makeup bag I would say. I'm gonna call this a makeup bag. We'll call it a makeup bag. So the next item is this headband. I picked two grey headbands in different materials. This is the slightly thinner material of the two. And the purpose of this is to wear this during exercising. I like the one that I have, but unfortunately it's too thick for me, so it makes my head too hot, so I wanted something a little lighter. So this one should work. However, it has something on the interior that I've never seen before. It's almost... It's, it's not sticky, but it kind of is. You can hear it slightly. And I've never seen that before. I wonder what the purpose of that is. I'm not sure. Does it help stick down to your head? I'm not sure. in a video. And that's why I really like making these videos. Not only do they help me with future props, but at the same time I get to sit down, have a little bit of a chit chat with you, and make a lot of sounds that I don't normally get a chance to. And with role plays, they're a little bit more personal attention focused and less sound focused. That's why I like doing these. So that is that headband. Next is a long sleeve black and grey top. It's the only clothing item I picked from the website. Now what I like about this one is that it's not too thin, it's not too thick. I really like the material. A lot of these can feel very itchy. And even though I've not tried this one on yet, I can already tell that this is going to feel comfortable and breathable on my skin. So, I look forward to wearing this. I've always wanted to get a black and grey long sleeve. So. I'm going to give this one a go. I'm going to spend a little bit longer on this one. It's 
so that is the top next is what do you call this a tapestry a flag a background obviously i can't show it right now because it's huge but basically this is a black and white tapestry background and i wanted to give a little bit of design and something a little bit different to my wall so i'm gonna pop this up It should end up looking quite nice. I like that um, it's not see-through, mostly. Yeah, with a lot of um, tapestries uh, that I've gotten over the years, some of them are slightly sheer. And I like that this one isn't too heavy, but at the same time it's not, it's not ultra sheer. scrunching sounds with this one now. I'm going to hang this up soon. in this little green case and this is an ear cleaning set it's like a treble size set and each of the tools is this pastel green like the case it's more of a treble sized ear cleaning set they had all sorts of ear cleaning tools on there and I was torn between this and the yellow, but I liked this one. I've been using the same ear cleaning tools for ear cleaning videos for many years, so I thought it might be nice to spruce up the props just a little bit. So it has all of the traditional tools that you would expect. It has the honey dip tool and a bunch of scooping tools and it has this tool that I've never really known what it does but I like the fact it's just a nice little pop of colour I also like that it's small and compact I have so many props and pieces of equipment that the smaller they are the better it is for me personally because they like to take up a lot of room so I got that just add a little pop of colour just to make the air clean a little bit different. And I love the sound on this. I think that sounds just great. The next item is, I believe, an eyebrow trimmer, right? Or maybe it's that thing you put against your skin to remove peach fuzz. I thought it was an eyebrow trimmer. I think it's an eyebrow trimmer. It will say in the description what it is. Um, I got this one again for personal attention, makeup, um, skincare spa role plays where I can sort of just do this for your eyebrows I'm assuming this is for your eyebrows so I can just do this to trim your eyebrows for videos just another prop I didn't have that I would love to use for the future videos And I got this one in, what colour would you call this? So I'd call this maybe creamsicle, like the orange creamsicle things. That's what I'd call it. So I'm 
going to use this one for future videos. Next, I got another small air cleaning set that's encased in this tube. Um, a lot of my air cleaning tools ironically, even after saying that the smaller the better, do go missing. So it's good for me to have a couple of, especially the scooping tools on hand. Um, fun fact, every time I say that I use the honey dip tool in videos, I actually don't. And the reason why I don't is if you have a look at this tool here, it's got all these divots, gaps, and my microphone is covered in a fuzzy material. So when this strokes against the microphone, it's pulling those fibers out. And all you can hear is these loud ripping sounds. It's, it's absolutely awful to listen to. So anytime you actually see me say, I'm going to use the honey dip tool, I'm not. What I do prefer to use is something like this. I actually love this one. I don't have one where the scooping tool is this long. So this is going to be very precise, it's going to be able to pull more from it, so I really really like this tool for that. I never thought I'd be excited over air cleaning tools, but when you make as many air cleaning videos as I do, props like this can be very helpful. It looks like a tiny um, putter, and they all come in this tube. So for traveling, I assume it's great. And this one came with one, two, three, four, five, six tools in it, so that's not bad. And just put them in the tube. You close up the tube. And there you go. I don't think that's a good sound. <laughs> that one's okay though. And then they go in this little compact metal case. I like that sort of jingling sound, almost like change in your hand. So there's that item. The next item I got was this. I have to plug in, so one moment. So when I saw this on the website, I thought this would make for some fantastic moody video. So for today's video, because I've got a lot of light around me and the background, it's not really showing its true potential, but you might get the idea. So this is a USB light up and it projects all of these lovely shapes around the room. Um, they're actually all over my ceiling right now and the walls, and things like that. You can actually see on my face. I'm going to close my eyes so I do not blind myself temporarily because you, if you actually look through this, you can see the LED coming up. So that's something to be warned about. But I love the colours coming off. I just looked at it. I love the colours coming off of this. And I really like the idea of this for a moody video. You can actually see the light bouncing off of my hair slightly in the shapes. So I figured I could incorporate this in, hopefully, a safe way into future videos. that item. I'm actually going to turn it off to, again, spare my eyesight. They have all sorts of light projectors on there, and I really liked this one. 
I liked the colour choices on it, and I liked the shapes. these really nice delicate wooden sounds, which is a bonus I think. So that was that item. I got four storage bags in total. And I like these because they make these really nice bendy crinkly sounds. So I got this one and I got a three piece, which is over there in grey. Same thing, just different sizes and colours. So I'm looking to organise our clothing soon with the items we don't wear anymore and I'm going to organise them into storage bags and these just come in real handy for that because of the shape and they're very compact so they don't take as much space as bunch of hangers with the clothes that you don't wear, you know. So I really like these, so I picked up four of those. But these are a really nice sale. the storage bags. Next is a two-piece, it's a spa skincare set. And this came in a variety of different colours, but I chose pink, and it comes with a purple scrubber. So the scrubber is not for me, this is for videos where I can use it to apply products to your skin. I like that this has a really nice sturdy handle. And I actually just noticed this but it has an applicator on the bottom too so it's a two-in-one and this would apply the products to your skin. That's, that's cool, I didn't notice that. It's also really nice and comfortable to hold. A lot of these are normally too short and too narrow but I like the width length of this one so it makes the grip of this really really nice and obviously it's purple and it has little bear ears so it's really cute. So this comes in 
a two-piece set. And the item came with it is this stretchy headband. I love this. I'm going to be using for this for my skincare application to put back my fringe, um, which loves to just poke out the top when I tie my hair up. It's nice and stretchy. It comes this really cute colour. I think they had blue as well, so I'm not mistaken. These two might be probably two of my favourite things from the order. So the next item, this is, you use this for your pet, I think, to clean their teeth. I'm not doing that. Um, this is something you put on your finger and I really liked it for the sounds it would make because when you put this on your finger you can then brush the microphone with it I'm sure this has been used in other videos but it's new for me really like that sound. Makes lots and lots of versatile sounds. So that's that item. I look forward to using that one in the future. The next item I got is a decorated ear cleaning tool. So this came in numerous styles on their website, but this one is this detailed one with little red gems on it. It's very small and has a little hoop you can hook it onto. But again, just something to spruce up ear cleaning videos. Brush down. It's nice and sturdy. You wouldn't want to hold this one for too long because these little divots could press into your finger. But how solid this feels is really nice because the other ones can feel quite flimsy at times, but this one's thick, which is good. It's also rounded, whereas some of the other ones are flat and sharp edged. It's always a balance between finding something tingly, interesting, and comfortable. So I got that too for future hair cleaning videos. The next item I got is strictly because. I liked the sound that this one might make. It's got a nice scratchy texture to it. This is a mirror and this is Cocoa Cookies. I 
cocoa cookies I like. This opens up to be a mirror that comes with a comb. So just close that. And I love the texture of this one. with the comb. But I like this for the sound, but I also like that it's small enough to sort of just use as a hairbrush for videos, or maybe even a beard brush, because it's just about just as wide as the lens. So it could work for that too. We'll see. Next is a red wig that I will hopefully get around to wearing in a future video. This is again just for role plays, things like this. Maybe character role plays. A little bit of cream flavor. This one is supposed to be a wavy wig on the shorter side. I've never had this hair colour before, I've never had that length before. So it'll be interesting to see. This is in the shade Burgundy. I think this colour is just gorgeous. It's not like that bright, almost, um, blood red, it's got these really nice tones that give it a little bit of depth, so I like that. I look forward to seeing how this works out. So that is the wig. Next I got one of these. This is a scalp brush. This is either to massage your head or to brush in shampoo. But I have seen so many ASMR content creators use these in scalp videos and it looks amazing. It makes really good sounds. So I want to incorporate this into a future hair focused video for you. Got a little handle to to help with the grip, which I really appreciate. I for some reason really like when triggers are done closer to the camera. I don't know why. the other headband. This is a little bit more like the one that I currently use. 
this is in grey. Nice, simple, basic headband for exercise. Next, I have this brush. You can hold it with the fabric at the back and buff with this one. Now, I could use this for a variety of different themed videos, but there could be like body brushing, that sound. So use the back for wood tapping. There are a few ways this can be incorporated. But I do like the coarse bristle sound. I really like that combo. A lot of ASMR content creators do where they do it's a combo of tapping and scratching at the same time. So that is all of the items from Timu for today's video. Thank you so much for watching this video today. Take care everybody. Goodbye.